My name is Dr. Michelle Lin, one of the editors for PEMSOFT. This second module of four covers how to use the Phoenix Resuscitation Calculator. This calculator can assist you during real-time pediatric resuscitations in addition to serving as a powerful educational and reference tool for simulated resuscitation scenarios. The Phoenix Calculator can be found in the upper right corner in the PEMSOFT homepage. Clicking on the button will take you into an input window. Type in the patient's length using the computer keyboard or the screen's keypad. Patient length is the preferred size characteristic for drug dosing and equipment sizing. Alternatively, if you do not know the patient's length, use the patient's age. Be sure to select either the years or months button. Although age is not quite as accurate as length in determining doses and equipment sizes, it is close enough for most cases. As an example, let's use 90 centimeters as the patient's length. After entering either the patient's length or age, Phoenix generates a mean weight based upon the Center for Disease Control's 50th percentile charts. Alternatively, you may overwrite this estimate and enter the actual measured body weight or a better weight estimate. Let's adjust this to 12 kilograms. Now click Calculate Dose. A safety warning window pops up to ask for confirmation that you indeed have entered the correct information. If confirmed, click on Proceed to open a window displaying drug dosages and equipment sizes, which have now all been calculated based on the weight of the child. In the lower right-hand column, there are 31 different critical conditions with resuscitation algorithms, also all now tailored to the weight of the child. Let's select status asthmaticus as a topic. This critical condition has a flow diagram to summarize treatment. The flow diagrams are designed to present complex visual knowledge in mission-critical situations with maximal clarity and minimal confusion. Starting at the top, the vertical decision flow template has various binary, that is yes or no, decision points. These decision points are in the yellow colored diamond boxes. Drug dosages are in the white rectangular boxes. Most hospitals display these flow diagrams on large plasma displays in the pediatric resuscitation bay or multiple copies can be printed out for the resuscitation team. There is an important second layer of information embedded within each flow diagram that can be accessed by running the cursor over any of three icons. The first is a blue information icon designated by a blue circle with the letter I in it. When you roll over this icon, more information appears in the right column of the screen relevant to that item. The second is a caution icon designated by a yellow triangle with an exclamation point in it. When you roll over this icon, practical pearls and suggestions with that topic pop up in the right column. And the third icon is a warning icon designated as a red octagon with an open hand in it. When you roll over this icon, pitfalls with that topic pop up in the right column. Because patients may actually progress from one critical condition to another, you can similarly move easily within the list of resuscitation protocols by clicking on a different topic in the bottom right column. In this case, let's say the child went into ventricular fibrillation. Select this topic. This new algorithm starts at basic life support. The purple click here button allows you to review the basic airway, breathing, and circulation maneuvers and equipments indicated. Return to the ventricular fibrillation window by selecting the go back button on the top menu bar. This protocol, like the other resuscitation protocols, are all consistent with the latest national recommendations and take the user from patient presentation to post-resuscitation care. 
The protocols all go beyond the traditional resuscitation topics covered by the Advanced Pediatric Life Support Certification Program. These topics include various metabolic topics, neonatal collapse, and multi-casualty incidents. The Phoenix Resuscitation Calculator was primarily designed to minimize confusion and error during a resuscitation. Because of its ease of use, it can also double as an excellent resuscitation reference and educational tool. For each condition, there are additional key clinical facts in the upper right blue-gray buttons. The main topic information button opens a window with a bulleted treatment and assessment sequence. The buttons below provide information on pathology, assessment, causes, diagnostic studies, and treatment principles. You can always return to the resuscitation calculator by selecting the upper right yellow calculator button. Note that all of the content in the clinical facts section of Phoenix is hot clickable. So clicking on a medical word or term will instantly access the full PEMSOFT medical library or search engine. For instance, within the status asthmaticus topic, select pathophysiology. Now click on the term oximetry. This will now take you to the pulse oximetry topic within the main PEMSOFT reference. The flow diagrams in Phoenix are all printable. For instance, in Status Asthmaticus, select the Print button at the top menu bar. A pop-up window will ask you whether you wish to print the color flow diagram alone, the clinical reference text alone, or both. We have now reviewed the capabilities and navigation features of the Phoenix Resuscitation Calculator. This concludes training session number two.